Hi, welcome back everyone, me Robert here. I hope you had a beautiful summer. Probably you've noticed that Meta, the company behind Facebook, came up with a new large language model, especially for developers. This model is called CodeLama, and it is free for research, but also for commercial use. It is built on Llama 2 and trained with 500 billion tokens of code. It is available in three fine-tuned models, Code Llama Python, Code Llama Instruct, and Code Llama. However, Meta recommends the Instruct variant here in the middle, since it is best at understanding prompts from humans. So in this demo, we will connect Hugging Chat to the Code Llama 34 billion parameter Instruct model via a local text generation inference server that we run in the Google Cloud. If you like this content, don't forget to click the like button, the subscribe button, and also the notification bell below, so you guys can keep up to date with all of our videos. Now, without further ado, let's get to it! All right, here you can see that I'm running Hugging Chat already locally, and I'm using the Code Llama 34 billion parameter instruct model from Hugging Face. I'm running this model through my local text generation inference server. Here in my Visual Studio Code development environment, on the bottom left side, you can see that I've SSH'd into my remote virtual machine in the Google Cloud. And here in my left terminal window, you can see that I'm running the Code Llama model locally on my local text generation inference server from Hugging Face. And here on the right terminal window, you can see that I'm also running the Hugging Chat UI here on my remote virtual machine. And here on the ports tab, you can see that I'm forwarding the port 5173 to my local machine. If you're not familiar with this, please watch my video SSH into remote VM with Visual Studio Code. And if you're not familiar with how to run an inference server, please watch my video ChatGPT but open sourced running Hugging Chat locally. In this video, I will just show you the changes that are required to run the inference server with the Code Llama model. Now let's switch back to Hugging Chat and let me show you that this setup is actually working. Let's ask Hugging Chat to write a simple Python app for us. Let's type write a Python function that accepts a string as parameter. Call this function with the parameter hello world and then we hit enter and here you can see that it created this function and in this line you can see that it calls this function correctly with the parameter hello world now let me show you which additional steps were required in comparison to my previous videos to make this happen First, I had to change the machine configuration of my virtual machine in the Google Cloud. In order to be able to run this 34 billion parameter Code Llama model, I required two GPUs of type NVIDIA 8100 with a 40 gigabyte GPU memory each. And the only machine type that currently supports this configuration is this one here. In Europe, this configuration was just available in the Euro Europe West 4 zone, and in the United States, it is available in the US Central 1 zone. Then, in order to be able to download the model and the model weights, you have to request access from Meta AI through this form here. Please note that the email address that you enter here must match the email address of your Hugging Face account. And you also need to create an access token in your Hugging Face profile settings here. Now let's switch back to Visual Studio Code. And here we have to make some changes 
on how we run the text generation inference server. Basically, we have to add the authentication string from Hugging Face here. We can pass it into Docker as environment variable, like so. And since we use an NVIDIA A100 GPU now, we do not have to disable the custom kernels like we did in the previous videos. So in our case, this custom kernel string here is empty. And alternatively, you could also delete it completely. And finally, we have to add the code llama model to the hugging chat UI. We do this by opening the .env.local file of the chat UI. And here we find the model section, which contains all available models in a JSON array. And here we add a new JSON object, which contains the model, the code llama model. Here we can enter a name of our code llama model, but more importantly, we have to add the endpoint where, where our text generation inference server is running. Here we have to define inst in this bracket as user message token. And we end this instruction with this string here in the assistant message token. The message end token has to be this string here. And I had to enter a pre-prompt beginning with this string here, followed by a system prompt, which has to end with this string here. Furthermore, I had to provide these parameters here in order to get some meaningful results. All of these instructions and parameters get posted to the inference server whenever the user hits enter here at the prompt. That's all for today. If you like this content, please click the like button, the subscribe button, and also the notification bell below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.